Hello everybody, I'm Bagel, or Bagel Plays, and uh, joined again by Marbrinus. Hey. Hey. Uh, and today we're just going to be going over some of the stuff that's in the new uh, 4.6 update for Starforge. Definitely so, uh, looks interesting. Yeah. Right off the bat you can see these guys here, which look uh, very cool. These are basically hovercrafts that they added to the game that are uh, mooey mooey cool. And they work. And, and they fly actually work. And yeah. As you can see, um, they're a bit iffy. They have some issues. Yeah. But they do work. This this one is my favorite. It's the most expensive one. It's like 500 metal and 500 oil. Huge Looks pain to make. Cool. It uh. Basically, you have to like. Just it, it's it's a huge pain. You, you don't ever want to have to go through it. But uh, they're pretty cool to fly around. They can get some good air too when you take off initially. Yeah. You can... <laughs> he just ran into a tree. <laughs> it's a little tough to drive. Oh god. Yeah. They they drift a fair amount. They definitely do, especially that one. Yeah, this one's very back heavy. These other ones, these ones, the one that I'm flying around in right now, are more stable. I think they're yeah. easier to maneuver, but that one has a tendency to just do what it wants. But this one looks this cool, one so even... it can do whatever it wants, anyways. Cause yeah. But, uh, yeah. Oh, just crashed into a tree. Um, so hovercrafts are pretty cool. Yeah. You can also craft these in the tower defense, I believe, you said. Yeah. It's possible. I don't know that we ever tested that, but... No. They were available, but I don't know. If we didn't actually try it. Yeah, we never made it that far. <laughs> we, uh... They have... You... Well, I should mention they have weapons on them. You yeah. can't use the weapons can't yet. Use the weapons but it looks yet. like they'll be used later, I'm guessing. Yeah. Sort of like the car, which they added yeah. a little while ago. Also as a gun. I'm sure yet. I'm Sure, everyone's driven it around and drove up the cliffs and you just go straight up and it's not <laughs> the most realistic physics in the world. Yeah. Oh god, also it is driving really weird right now. At the moment, it looks like you can only seat one person in hovercrafts as well. Yeah. It's worth mentioning. But, who knows. Whoa. Uh, what else? There's something very strange going on with the car right now. Okay, we'll, we'll just we we'll to... just uh, we'll just get out of this car and pretend that never happened. We need to talk about this trailer over here because this yes. is another new thing. That trailer, um, I believe this is new. I don't remember seeing it before. I feel like it's sort of barely supposed to be in the game. Because what uh, we thought, we're thinking it'll be used for carrying resources once you can actually tow it. Yeah. At the moment, you can't really move it. You can push it around with the cars, though, we found out. Yeah. Kind of works. So. But, uh, it's... Could be useful. It, it's when you, uh... You go to craft it, it's sort of a weird thing. <laughs> oh, Doesn't yeah. Doesn't really have a picture, but, uh... Looks like they just threw it in at the last moment. Like, eh, whatever. <laughs> yeah, as your guy screams, or my guy screams, or someone... It's probably my guy. So these ones are a lot more stable than those other ones. They, uh... They drive a lot nicer, but they still drift a lot. But it makes sense because it seems like hovercrafts would drift a lot anyways. So I think it's good that they put that in there, you know. Yeah. Other than that, though, it's pretty much the same controls as the car and everything. So yeah. Um. Then we got this guy over here. Oh yeah. He was uh. He was I think in the last update. I'm not sure. But, I, I never saw him until now. Yeah, he was up at the top of that mountain up there. And uh, he's just chilling up there, so we brought him down here. You can pick him up and he starts squirming. Yeah. It's quite funny to watch. And he's going to be... Oh. Supposedly, he's like a preview for what will be released in future updates for mobs and such. Yeah. Supposedly. They have another updates. mob that I don't think is in the game yet, but they have sort of shown pictures and stuff of it. But this is one of them, they have another one. And I believe that these aren't going to be hostile, but I'm not sure. As of right now, they're not. I'm sort of tempted to shoot it, but I feel like that'd be mean. Yeah. Save that for the end. Um, See, so over here they've added these, uh, this crafting panel thing. Which is it's pretty cool, I gotta say. You got this cool... Uh, What's the significance of it? Is it just for looks? 
Yeah, I think, well, see, now you have to be, before you could be anywhere in craft as long as you're near resources. But now, like, right. at the bottom of the left-hand part of my screen, you can see it says cannot forge. Now it says within mm -hmm. range of vat ready to forge. So you have to be okay. close to the vat to forge now or else you can't. And the resources have to be close to it as well. Yeah. Okay. So this might just be that kind of a thing. Like you have to be close right. to this or something. I don't, I don't really know. Okay. But uh, yeah. And let's see what else did they add? They had this cool day night uh, cycle. Yeah, that's been in there. <laughs> oh, it will. But it wasn't in um, tower defense, was it? Before? Yeah, it was. It's, oh. This new update. Yeah, wait, we look stupid. Um, I just didn't know. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, so this is the crafting menu thing. Um, they've changed it a little bit, I believe. Added some new stuff like the hovercrafts. Um, you can see, you know, got the requirements down there. The trailer, y you can see by looking at the picture, it's not not the most uh, detailed they put picture. They the most time into making it. Yeah, it's not the most detailed picture I've ever seen. But, uh, <laughs> it looks like they just drew with a pencil. <laughs> It's made up of like three different shapes. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Let's see what else do we have here. Um, the inventory. You can, you can now save the game in single player mode. They still haven't put it in for multiplayer, but for single player you can, which is good. If you hit escape, you can see. Well, we're doing multiplayer, so never mind. That's irrelevant. But uh, when you're doing single player, it says like save and exit and uh, stuff like that. It says like save and do whatever, so it's not just uh, like it doesn't save anymore. Um, Fort Defense, we did a little bit of that earlier, and uh, we'll be uploading video either it'll be part of this one or a separate one, and uh, so you can see that for the tower defense part because they added like new stuff for the leeches, which are pretty awesome, I gotta say. Mm -hmm. um, they add like more stats and stuff for it. Uh, they put in procedural weapons again. They took those out for a little bit, so they put them back in. And they adjusted the visual effects a little bit, so it's supposed to look a little bit better, more like a human eye, instead of just a video game. Um, and they made a bunch of changes to various things. And bug fixes as well. Bug fixes, nice. yeah. Still a lot so. of bugs, but it's alpha so yeah <laughs> yeah I kind of expect that um right I was gonna ask so do we know what's up with the inventory right now did they change that or uh well, it's they... not the same as it was the crafting thing you mean no nope. our actual inventory that shows our stats that we can level up that they hadn't really finished yet oh yeah I was in the game before, but looks yeah, like they changed it a bit. They, yeah, they they probably changed it. My guess is they're working on it. So yeah. Um. Also at the top, they've messed with that in recent updates. The little uh, toolbar thing at the top there mm -hmm. sort of fades out when non-use, which is kind of nice, but it doesn't actually go away. And now you don't need to switch between building and weapon modes. Yeah, yeah. Right? Yeah. Which is good. So they've added a lot recently. Is that pretty much everything? I think that's pretty much everything. Uh, you know, the improved performance and everything they've done. Um, less lag, yeah, that was pretty less cool. Less lag, yeah. Uh, the, uh, they've, they've changed some audio for stuff, like for some weapons and things. Um... There's a lot of changes to the whole, the leeches, the enemies in tower defense. Mm -hmm. They can like have different stats and different colors and all that. And they have physics now. You can see all that with our other video. And uh, yeah, I think that's mostly it. Um, okay. Trees, I don't know if I said that already. They've changed trees a little bit. I think they're pretty similar but you can still just shoot them and they blow up yeah <laughs> but so I think that's about it um 
But before we go, just uh, happen to have some grenades and a car mm. that we aren't using. I actually haven't seen much grenade stuff. <laughs> so, it, oh, it didn't even blow up. up. It didn't even <laughs> blow up. God dang it. I was really hoping they would blow up. Can we just toss a couple over there? Can it even blow up? Do you know if the car can blow up? It used to be able to blow up. It might not be able to anymore. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'll run away. Did it blow up? No. Yeah, I don't think it can it blow can, up anymore. It can't blow up anymore. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's that was, disappointing. Yeah. Yeah, I, I thought that'd be a cool touch, but whoops, I just threw a grenade, I think. Did I? No, we're good. You can try blowing up this guy. Yeah, I'm gonna try... Oh, okay. I was gonna try blowing up the hovercrafts, but... No, it doesn't. So, yeah, the grenades don't seem like they blow quite as much stuff up anymore. But, um... Grenades are still fun. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> um... What happened to him? <laughs> where'd he go? <laughs> oh, is that him way over there? <laughs> oh, wow, yeah, he, he got some air. Oh, wow. Okay. That was pretty cool. He's alive, but that, yeah, okay. <laughs> so maybe shooting him won't kill him. Nope. <laughs> Just <laughs> launches him. Okay. He has good physics, too. Whoa, oh my god, look at how far he went. I know. You can, like, he landed up with. on that mountain. <laughs> oh my Holy god. Crap. <laughs> That's actually awesome. Wow. That guy yeah, he's not flies. Good. He won't be he's back for a down. while. He's, he's rolling down the mountain. Um, yeah, I think with that, We'll, uh, we'll end it there, as it becomes nighttime. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, so anyways, thanks for watching, and uh, see you guys next time. Bye. Bye.